Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today's video is a very special one, especially for Snapdragon users who have been waiting for a long time. New Adreno 800 series GPU drivers are finally here, made specifically for Snapdragon 8 Elite, 8 Elite Gen 5, and 8S Gen 4 processors. For many users, these processors were powerful on paper, but emulation support was holding them back. The good news is, developers have been actively improving these GPU drivers on GitHub, and now we're finally seeing real results. In this video, I tested this new driver with three heavy games, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Red Dead Redemption 2, and God of War Ragnarok Lite, games that simply would not work earlier on these processors. To test everything properly, I'm using GameHub Lite because it allows custom GPU drivers, unlike the original GameHub emulator. The setup process is a bit tricky for beginners, so for the full process, watch this video. The link is in the description. Now let's start with Spider-Man Miles Morales. First, I'll quickly show you the game settings. Most options are kept at default. GameHub Lite already includes a built-in Adreno 800 series driver, but I replaced it with the custom Adreno 800 series V13 GPU driver, and you can see all the settings clearly on the screen. After that, I started the game. As soon as it launches, I adjust the in-game graphics to the lowest settings to avoid crashes and improve stability. When the game starts, don't panic if it feels slow. In my case, the game took around 2-3 to three minutes to fully load. Once it reached the home screen, I was seeing around 3 FPS, which honestly looks scary at first and makes you think the game will be unplayable. But this is where patience matters. Since the settings were already configured, I directly started a new game. During cutscenes and early gameplay, I was getting around 8 to 10 FPS, which is still not great, but the interesting part starts when actual gameplay begins. While swinging in the open world, I started seeing 15 to 20 FPS, and that too in a heavy open world game like Spider-Man. That's a big deal, because earlier this game simply would not run at all on Snapdragon 8 Elite. Keep in mind, I'm testing this on a Snapdragon 8 Elite device, and even now, the GPU driver is still in a very early stage. It's not showing its full potential yet, but the progress is clearly visible. To improve things further, I added a fully completed mission save file. After doing that, the game felt noticeably smoother, and FPS became more stable. I also saw a YouTube video where someone was running this game at 30 plus FPS smoothly, but when I checked their phone specs, they were using 24 GB RAM, while my phone has 12 GB RAM. That's the key difference. Big games like this heavily depend on RAM, so if your device has more RAM, you'll naturally get better average FPS. After that, I tested Red Dead Redemption 2 using the same settings. Earlier, this game simply would not run on Snapdragon 8 Elite without custom GPU drivers, but now with the Adreno 800 series driver, the game runs surprisingly well. During open world gameplay, I was getting around 40 to 45 FPS, which is honestly very impressive for such a heavy title. Movement feels smoother, stutters are minimal, and overall performance is far better than what was possible before, something that was completely impossible just one year ago. With more driver optimization, this game can become even smoother in the future. Finally, let's talk about God of War Ragnarok Lite version. I tested this game in Win Later, and to be very honest, right now it's not playable. There are heavy stutters, unstable FPS, and a lot of graphic glitches. The game does run, but the experience is very rough. However, there's an important trick here. If you really want to try this game, you need to launch it and then leave it running for 10 to 20 minutes. Once all the shaders and internal data are loaded, performance can improve. Online, I've seen a YouTuber running God of War Ragnarok at 50 plus FPS, but again, that device had a Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor and 24 GB RAM. Just like I said earlier, for these massive games, higher RAM makes a huge difference. So to conclude, Adreno 800 series GPU drivers are a massive step forward for Snapdragon 8 Elite, 8 Elite Gen 5, and 8S Gen 4 users. Games that were completely unplayable before are now finally running, and some are even delivering very impressive FPS. Yes, these drivers are still in an early stage and need more optimization, but the progress is real and very exciting. This is just the beginning, and the future of high-end PC gaming on Android looks extremely promising. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel for more gaming tests, updates, and guides like this. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative gamers.